is mayonnaise a loop. This is episode two, officially, of Will and Lou. And, as you can tell from the thumbnail and the title, yes, I'm doing mayonnaise. Um, which I have two packets of the Hellman's uh, may mayonnaise. Um, so, before I actually put this in, uh, the cube and after I've cleaned out the cube from the um, Pantene 3 minute miracle um, the oh my god it actually feels nice no like super fantastically nice but I'm not all for that. So, anyway, uh, my prediction for mayonnaise, um, after I put it in and come back a week later after a bunch of salt and it dries up and stuff, is that since mayonnaise is like soybean oil, water, eggs, vinegar, salt, sugar, and some other stuff. So basically eggs, vinegar, and some other stuff. Which really is in knowing the consistency of mayonnaise and how viscosity it is. It's not that super liquidy though and some other stuff. So yeah, it's not going to be uh, that much, and it's probably not going to um, rush the screws, but anyway, let me open this. Yeah, okay, that's a good chunk of the uh, tube. Um, in there. And let me just see this. So I know I'm going to need this towel. No, wipe down the cube after I pop in the piece in. Uh, yeah, as you can see, it's all looping, leaking out. So let me go and wipe this off. No, I know I'm going to need to wipe it off even more. No, in this, but initially, first turns of it. Hmm. That feels nice. It has sort of the smooth, rich, buttery feel. So it's like, if you try to, if you, it's like, really hard to say. No. But that actually feels nice. No. So far. But, let's me, um, go and play with this for a week and come back and tell you all what happened to the cube and what, uh, it feels like and show you what the dry up, um, Mayonnaise looks like inside the cube. So, yeah, there we go. One week later. Okay, so, been a week with mayonnaise in this cube. And, I have to say, this is surprising for what it is. No. 
Um, it is really, really good of a loon. No, it makes the cube tone really good. Doesn't really do that much to the cube. But, I think I personally added a little too much in there because, well, um, when I do sell a bunch of salt, the, um, as I'm turning, the, the edges that are in corners and stuff that are exposed when turning, um, are luby, and I tried wiping them down a bit, but still, it just gets through and out, and it's just, yeah. Um, and the edges look like this, no. Nothing much on it, except for the oil. Um, which, one of the first ingredients, though, in the Hellman, um, Hellman, uh, mayonnaise was, um, I think, sunflower oil, something like that. No, um, so yeah, that's what, all over the cube right now. I just realized this. There's a bit of that gunk there. No, um. Oh, and I know why. No. No. So, the internals. And especially looking at the core. So you see. All that dry gunk in there. Well, it's somewhat dried up and somewhat not. It's still not like dry dry, it's still liquidy and stuff like that. But yeah, um, and here's part of it on the corner base and stuff. Um, the screw head, um, though, and other parts, well, the screw, like, the screw heads and stuff. Barely got affected and stuff. Well, they got affected a little bit, but not much. No, but down the screw, where the screw goes into the core, did get affected some. No. But overall, do I recommend this as a loop? Yes and no. Mayonnaise does work as a lube, and works really good, but the downside is that if you attempt using it as a lube, no, um, over time, as the mayonnaise, um, breaks down, metabolizes, and ages, no, and being exposed to the open air, no, it will degrade, rot, uh, get moldy, and even at the same time, smell. So, that means like, it not gonna look good, smell good after like a m month or two in the cube. So, there's that. Otherwise, it's good. But, yeah, don't lube your cube with the mayonnaise. 